Is Big Ten expansion over? Matt Hayes from Saturday.Football does not seem to believe so. In fact, in his latest article at SaturdayTradition.com, titled Sources Insist Big Ten Isn't Finished Rating the Pac-12, uh, the fifth sentence in his article reads, If anyone thinks the Big Ten is not coming back for more, they are not following along, an industry source told Saturday Out West this week. Now, it continues on. It says, The official end of the wildly underrated Pac-12 arrives when the Big Ten finds a media rights partner, network or cable television and or a streaming service to foot the bill for the conference to add more schools from the Pac-12. Because the Big Ten isn't leaving USC and UCLA alone on the West Coast, it must protect its investment. Now, Hayes does have a point here. Having USC and UCLA play every single road game from 1,500 to 2,800 miles away does not make sense for the athletes. Because we're not just talking football. We've got volleyball and basketball, etc., it's a lot of travel for all of their athletic program. Like, I, I know what you're saying to yourself, but Gary, if the Big Ten wanted more schools, why didn't they just take them the first time? To which I would reply, we've already been over this. Like, But to rehash just a bit, USC and UCLA contacted the Big Ten about leaving the Pac-12 after their grant of rights deal ended. And taking two schools would not completely destroy a conference. And look at what the Big 12 did after losing Oklahoma and Texas. But if they had come in and taken USC, UCLA, Oregon, and Washington, now that would have absolutely killed the because the brands left after that are not worth what was left even in the Big 12. You cannot take them all at one time or you would be battling litigation and lawsuits for years. So take two and then let the Pac-12 get the best media rights deal that they can come up with and then let Oregon and Washington come back to you once the next grant of rights is done. And that's a big part of this, right, is making sure that those schools go to the Big Ten first. And they already have. They met last fall uh, in Chicago, Oregon, and Washington just to see what the situation would look, right? So Hayes' article continues on. It says another industry source told Saturday Out West they still believe the four Pac-12 schools last year uh, totally clear off cough they weren't signing extended grant of media rights deals without an unfettered out to join the Big Ten. And that would be Washington, Oregon, Stanford, and California. Those are the dream additions for the Big Ten if it can find the fund. Now, if it can only find funding for two, Washington and Oregon are definitely the preferred addition. Uh, the Action Network reported in November that Washington and Oregon held preliminary discussions, which I just talked about, about joining the Big Ten. Uh, here's another quote from that article. It says, I'm not sure it has to be an equal Big Ten share either, a second source said. It just has to be more than what the big, uh, the Pac-12 can provide. Now, if you're asked to accept less to survive, the choice is easy. So we do have an interesting conundrum here, right? The Big Ten has no deal with ESPN. There won't be a single Big Ten sporting event on ESPN until this next media rights deal is completed. ESPN is in bed with the SEC, the ACC, and the Big 12. Now, Fox has some of the Big 12 and the Big 10. Would ESPN be willing to pay more to every Pac-12 member to make sure that Oregon and Washington stay in the Pac-12, thus keeping them away from Fox? Like, could ESPN be working with Kalafkoff on an unequal revenue-sharing model where they pay those schools more than the others, maybe maybe locking them in longer so they don't have to bolt to the Big Ten? Like, a deal that sees more than half of the Pac-12's games on a streaming service will not keep those big brands in the fold for long, and they'll bolt at the first opportunity, which is also why those schools won't necessarily agree to moving to the Big Ten for less money if they're only going to be relegated to you know, a 10.30 p.m. Eastern time window or an Amazon Friday night, which other schools will have to be willing to play on Amazon as well from the Big Ten. Uh, in the next four to five years, I would imagine we're going to see exactly how valuable Oregon and Washington actually are based on what ESPN and the Big Ten ultimately do. I'm here for all of it because the longer this thing goes on, like the less answers I have, the less guesses that, that I can actually come up on this. It, it's just an absolute mess currently. Psst. If you like this video, go ahead and hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and of course, jump in the comments. Thanks for listening to Winning Cures Everything. Make sure and subscribe on YouTube or your favorite podcast app, and make sure to leave a nice five-star review. You can follow Gary on Twitter, at GaryWCE, and the show is at Winning Cures. Be sure to check out the merch in our web store and share the show.